Warning, this video contains spoilers to the story and to the epilogue for Red Dead 2. If you have not finished the story, please do not watch this video. You have been warned. Hello everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood grilled chicken man. Thank you for joining me today on another Red Dead video. Now before we get started, I'd like to reiterate that warning that I put out um, before the video started. And this does contain spoilers to the story. So if you do not want your story ruined, please do not watch this video if you have not finished through chapter 6. Now this video is going to be a guide for the achievement and or trophy, Paying Respects. To unlock this secret achievement, you have to go and visit all nine grave sites of your fallen gang members who died throughout the story. You may think that's a bit of a daunting task as the story ranged from pretty much the top to bottom to left to right side of the map, so the graves are going to be scattered all over, which is true. But in this video, I'm going to show you where to find each one individually so that you can unlock the achievement for yourself. So the first grave we're going to visit, we're going to start up where the game started, up in Coulter. And the very first grave we're going to visit is actually found in Coulter itself. Uh, it is the grave of Davy Cullender. Cullender? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that last name, but he died before the story's first chapter began. And he's buried in Coulter along with another uh, gang member. So to find Davy's grave, we're going to start by riding down the main street of Coulter. Not that there's any side streets to explore. But anyway, we're going to go to the very end of Coulter here, and there is an abandoned church and a stable, as you can see right here. Now, in between those two, there is a small graveyard. Small, uh, seven to eight graves in it, but we're not so much worried about what is in the graveyard, we're worried about what is behind the graveyard. Because if you walk behind the graveyard here, you're going to see a plank sticking out of the ground in a pile of rocks, and that is going to be the grave of Davy Callender. I said Colander earlier. It's Calendar, excuse me. Now to get to the next grave, you're going to run up the Spider Gorge um, and the Spider Creek River up to the very northwestern edge of the map in West Grizzlies. To do that, we're going to mount our horse and we're going to ride all the way up. Now as we approach the location marked on the map, we're going to look over to our right and we're going to see a half buried cross sticking out of the snow. This is going to be our next grave, the grave of Jenny Kirk, who also died before the story started um, during the gang's escape from Blackwater along with Davy. Now for our third grave, we're going to have to ride east from the West Grizzlies um, up to the middle of Amberino County to the Wapiti Indian Reservation. That's where we're going to start our trek down to visit the grave here of Eagle Flies, who is Rainfalls, the chief of the Wapiti Indian tribe's son, and who was killed towards the end of chapter six. When we get to the location marked on our map, we're going to uh, dismount and look to our left over here. And we're going to see a stick with a cloth on it coming out of the ground. That is going to be the grave we're looking for, the grave of eagle flies. Now for the next grave, we're going to be going up near uh, Donner Falls on the other side of Donner Falls from where we found uh, Eagle Flies near the mysterious hill home. Now this is the grave that most people are looking for in the epilogue. This is the grave that everybody wants to know the location of. That's right, you guessed it, the grave of Arthur Morgan, the game's main protagonist that dies at the end of chapter 6 from tuberculosis or stress or whatever he dies from. Anyway. Uh, he was buried right up there behind the Mysterious Hill home by Charles Smith uh, during the epilogue. Ch 
strangely enough, Charles Smith honored Arthur's last wishes about how he wanted to be buried. Face me to the west so I can watch the setting sun and remember all the fine times we had that way. Written on his gravestone reads, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Uh, apparently uh, written by Charles as well. So, a fitting homage to the game's protagonist. So, the next grave we're going to be looking for is going to be found in New Hanover, which is a bit southeast of the last location we were at, where Arthur's grave was, um, right by uh, Dunner Falls. It's going to be a little southwest of the Elysian Pool, and uh, actually going to be very near a uh, railroad track. So you're going to start and walk up this hill near the railroad track uh, where the marker is that uh, you're going to place on your map. And it, you can see once you get to the top of this hill, you are going to find the grave of Susan Grimshaw. That's correct. Susan Grimshaw was killed by the coward Micah Bell in the last mission of the Red Dead 2 main story. The next graves that we're going to visit, yes, I said graves, this is a two-for-one deal, is actually down south from where we were over in Elysian Pools. It's right above San Denis, right off the side of the road here. So, when you get to where this marker is, you're going to ride off the side of the road, and we're going to visit the graves of Hosea Matthews and Lenny Summers, both of which who were killed in a uh, bank robbery gone wrong during chapter 4. And if you'll recall, Hosea was shot in the back by Agent Milton from the Pinkertons, and Lenny was shot in the head by another of his cohorts during the escape. So here's the grave of Lenny Summers, Arthur's drinking buddy. And right to the left of him, we're going to find the grave of Hosea Matthews. For the 8th gravestone, we're going to be revisiting Shady Bell, which is southwest of San Denis and our last two uh, graves. The grave in question is to the west of Shady Bell in a field, the field that I was uh, just recently in here, right here. Uh, the grave in question is Kieran Duffy, the original Odrisco turned traitor and uh, joined the Vanderlyn gang only to be murdered by the O'Driscolls again in chapter 4. Uh, rest in peace, traitor. Now for the very last grave that you're going to need to find for the achievement. Um, we're going to start in Clemens Point, which was the uh, location of the camp during chapter 3. We're going to run north from that to find our gravestone. There's a small clearing in the trees and to the right of that there's going to be a small wooded area. In that wooded area you will find the grave of Sean McGuire, the witty fast-talking Irishman that didn't even make it an entire chapter with the gang before getting shot in the head. So this is Sean McGuire's gravestone. Uh, once you grab this, the achievement should pop. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, keep laughing. <laughs>